Hi, my name's Mad Jack, and I'm going to be bringing you a cornucopia of fun, easy, and safe things to make in your house and play with. Now I'm going to show you how to make blue plasticine. We've got a few ingredients for this, and here they are. We've got a blue wax crayon, we've got some neutral shoe polish, make sure it is neutral, we've got some petroleum jelly, and some plain flour and I'll be using a little cup to put the plasticine into. Uh, also, we're going to need to melt the wax together, so we're going to be using a bain-marie, which is essentially boiling water, and a separate bowl, which you put in the water, and we'll be melting everything in there. Right, so now we've got our boiling water going. We're going to take our blue crayon, break it up a little bit. Three pieces will do. You can see immediately it started to melt. And now is the time to get our boot polish and mix it in. About a teaspoon. So, as you can see, yeah, nicely melting straight away. Now remember, obviously, there's lots of hot steam coming up off the saucepan, so be careful not to burn your stuff. If you keep it on about half heat, that will be fine. Okay, so this takes a couple of minutes for it all to boil down. And while we're waiting for that to happen, we're going to take our petroleum jelly, and again, about a teaspoonful of that, and we'll put that in. This helps to keep it nice and flexible later on. If you don't have it, it will just make it blue wax and it will just go to solid again. So we need that Vaseline to keep it nice and flexible. Now, yeah, it's all boiling down nicely. little bits left. Okay. Don't worry too much. We're going to keep it on the heat, but we're going to add now some flour. And this is to kind of counteract the Vaseline. The Vaseline, of course, will make it very greasy. You don't want it to stick to your skin too much when you're playing with it. So we need to put in that flour just to really bring it together get that consistency a bit thicker, a little less greasy. Doesn't need to be sieved in, you can see all of the lumps have just dissolved in. Now, it really does depend on how much plasticine you want to make, so I can't really give you a specific amount. The harder you want it, then the more flour you put in. Okay. I think that probably do. So at this point, everything's nicely melted. We're going to put it into a pot. Now, for that, we've got to make sure that we use something to put our to cover our hands. We don't want obviously to burn ourselves. And I've been using here a towel, and we've got our pot that I mentioned earlier, pour that in nicely, there we go. So this needs to go into the fridge or the freezer for about 15-20 minutes, nice and solid, and then you'll have your blue plasticine. 